Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to tell you about some of the basics of white blood cells. First, I'm going to tell you the names and function of the different types of white blood cells. Then I'm going to point out some of the key characteristics of each cell that will help you differentiate them under the microscope. And then I'm going to point out some of the most commonly made mistakes and how you can avoid them. So there are two main classes of white blood cells. The first class are the granulocytes. They're named granulocytes because they have little granules inside their cells. The first type of granulocyte is the neutrophil, which phagocytizes bacteria. Then there's the eosinophil, which kills parasitic worms. And lastly, there are basophils, which release histamine and other inflammatory chemicals. Also, before I forget, for those of you that don't remember from AMP1, uh, phagocytizes mean it eats the bacteria. So it literally hunts it down surrounds it, takes it in, and digests it. I will post a link in the description of a video of that happening because it's really cool. The second main class of white blood cells are the agranulocytes. So they are white blood cells that do not have granules inside them. So we have lymphocytes, which are called lymphocytes because they're found um, in your lymphoid tissues, like lymph nodes, um, your spleen. And some types of lymphocytes produce antibodies, um, and other types of lymphocytes attack bacteria directly. That's something you'll learn in greater detail when you reach the immune chapter. You also have monocytes, which can leave the bloodstream and enter tissues, um, and they are also phagocytic. So how do we tell these apart? First, you have to ask yourself, is it a granulocyte? Do you see those little tiny BBs inside the cell? If the answer is yes, the next thing you need to do is look at the color. So the neutrophils will usually be um, paler than the red blood cells around it. Um, the eosinophil will be more red and the basophil is very dark, dark purple. So That's the main way to tell them apart, um, but sometimes if the slides are very faded from being under the light for too long, maybe you'll have a hard time deciding if it's red or not. In that case, you want to look at the nucleus. If you look in the neutrophil, you see there's three irregularly shaped kind of balls in there that are the nucleus. Neutrophils usually have kind of crazy nucleus, nuclei. Um, whereas in the eosinophil, you're seeing two kind of round, evenly round nuclei. Um, and sometimes you can see that the two round nuclei will be connected by a little strand in between them so it looks like an old telephone um, that's how you can tell it's an eosinophil and the basophil you can tell because you can't even see a nucleus it's so dark now the agranulocytes if you decide it's not a granulocyte then you need to look at the size Lymphocytes are about the same size as a red blood cell. 
um, whereas monocytes are gigantic and about four to five times the size of a red blood cell. So next we're going to go on to the commonly confused uh, white blood cells. So basophils and lymphocytes are commonly confused simply because they're both purple. The basophil though usually very clearly has lots of granules. Um, it's also larger. All of the granulocytes are about two to three times the size of a red blood cell, whereas a lymphocyte is usually about one times the size or the same size as a red blood cell. Um, also, in the lymphocyte, there will always be some amount of visible cytoplasm. So all the dark purple in the middle of the lymphocyte is the nucleus, and that little pale halo around the edge is the cytoplasm. Some lymphocytes have a little more, some have less, but there will always be some visible cytoplasm, whereas in the basophil, you don't see anything, just dark purple granules. Also, sometimes neutrophils and monocytes can be confused, once again, because they have a similar color. Also, because sometimes um, the monocytes might look like they have granules, or maybe the neutrophil is really um, faded and you can't tell whether it has granules or not. So in this case, first thing you look at is the size. The neutrophil will be about two to three times the size of a red blood cell, whereas the monocyte is much, much larger. You could fit four or five red blood cells inside the monocyte. Um, also, you're going to want to look at the nucleus. The monocyte will have a nucleus uh, probably shaped like a kidney bean, whereas the neutrophil will have um, the irregular shaped multi-lobed nucleus um, that we talked about earlier. All right, that's all the information I have for you on white blood cells for now. I hope that was helpful. Um, if it was helpful, please subscribe, comment, like, and share with your classmates who also may be having trouble with the topic. Have a good day and good luck studying.